Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, May 29th of 2019, and it is 8 a.m. in the morning. <clears throat> Yesterday was the day for my doctor's appointment, at my regular doctor, and uh, I was convinced that it was at 8.30 a.m. It was actually an 8 o'clock appointment. How I got confused, I do not know, because I made the appointment. They also called uh, because of the holiday being on Monday and the appointment being Tuesday. They called, I think, Friday and left a message with the, you know, the time. They also have a website that all my doctors are linked into and the hospital. So all the, you know, they post a message every time they're on there for various things and they list when I'm overdue for stuff and all that type. Of. I think the, the way I messed up on the time of the appointment was I called to cancel an appointment with the skin doctor cancer, skin doctor, with the uh, cancer doctor for checking my skin he wants an appointment every six months and I called to I'd already postponed by the way I called to postpone a little further away I you know uh, and when I called I think what I called early to, to uh, tell them last week or something and the recording there said, you know, uh, call back later, the office opens at uh, 8.30. And so I think in my mind, what must have happened is, I thought, oh, okay, this, you know, my regular doctor office opens at 8.30. That's what I thought, it was actually eight. So uh, Hillary, my daughter, she drove me, and uh, we got there at five minutes to eight. Uh, and parked outside and Hillary said well let's go on in I said no let's, they're not open yet uh, let's just wait so at 8.25 <laughs> I went in and uh, went up to the counter there and there's a little form they want you to fill out you know what time your appointment is what time you got there you know, your name, uh, are there any changes in your insurance information, are there any changes in your dress or anything, you know, no, no. filled it out. And the uh, lady there <clears throat> said, uh, your appointment was for 8. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, I thought it was 8.30. She said, yeah, I'll have to see if the doctor can uh, see you if you have to come back for another appointment. And I thought, well, you know, surely they'll just work me in you know and she said uh, you know she typed on the keyboard said uh, no the doctor will not see you today uh, you'll have to make another appointment I can get you in at 11 o'clock tomorrow I said okay then actually I said because every time I go it used to be I'd go for my regular doctors and they'd say well you know, your appointment is on such and such a day, but you need to come in a couple of days early and have lab work done here, and then we'll have the lab work. And then it got where uh, I would, uh, you know, make an appointment, and then they'd say, well, we don't have lab work, but uh, go over now, you know, or they do the exam. And they'd say, okay, but go get some lab work over here and then we'll put it on the computer, or if the, 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 per, the doctor will say, if there's a problem, you know, we'll call you. But it also goes on the computer right away, and I can see that at home. So that's become a norm. So anyway, I said, uh, well, this doctor's probably gonna wanna have lab work done, so maybe we can do that since I'm already here. And the lady said, the doctor hasn't put down that you're <coughs> here to have any lab work done. I said, okay, so here it is. The next day, and uh, 
Okay, wait a minute here. Oh, this, I'm running Manicam and I've paid for a lifetime membership. I don't see where in the heck the X is to get this off my screen over here. Um, I think we're still running here, but I can't close out the screen over here because I've got a thing, and when they keep they keep doing this. They keep having this pop up that. Uh, Medicam is a nice program, but they, you know, there is no X here to exit out of this little box. That is, let me show you. That has popped up. See, there's no X here. Okay. I'm going to click this and hope that this will let me exit out of the damn thing. No, it will not. Like I said, I you know I paid for uh, for a while every uh, Manny Cam. If you're watching, usually there's a little tiny X on here that's usually hidden under some of this other crap. Well, that looks like I'm going to I'm going to end this if I can. Okay. Stop recording. Okay, we're I don't know why it disappeared, but it did. So here's what I have for the control panel now over on my other screen. Manicam, please stop that. I mean I don't expect them to know, okay, this person has a lifetime membership, so we don't need to have them upgrade. But at least they should make it plainly so you can exit out. And then also they should make it where it doesn't pop up when uh, you're doing a recording. So I finished the little doctor's bit. I, well, except, you know, yesterday I tried to refrain eating all night. I did only thing I only thing I did last the uh, not last night but the day before the doctor's appointment that I missed was I did have a coke in the morning because I knew they were going to want me to urinate in their little cup. And uh, but now I last night I had pie and everything else so to hell with their, you know, lab work. I mean, I'll do the lab work but I haven't refrained from eating. But there there again, uh, I'm always early for every appointment my entire life I've always been. But I, uh, I don't blame the uh, doctor's office. They probably have, it's probably a real problem people showing up you know, not showing up for appointments. Although I think what they do is they actually, I think they, I think they may charge you if you, uh, you know, don't show up for an appointment. Although I don't know how can you do that when you're dealing with people, <laughs> you know, old people. Although it's you know, doctor sees people that aren't old, I guess. Um, Anyway, so I, I've got to, uh, it's 8, 12 a.m. The appointment is at uh, 11, so I better get there early because they always ask for you to come 20 minutes early for the appointment so you can do the paperwork, but I don't have any paperwork to do because I can do it all online and all that kind of stuff anyway. I don't blame them, but I got to, you know, I w had to look forward to a doctor's appointment yesterday. Now I got to look 
forward, you know. It's, uh, I think they're going to give me a pneumonia shot, uh, which they won. It, it starts with it. Does it start with an S? Shingles. But I don't think I've ever had a singles thing. And I think once you take it, I think it's good for life. Then there's some other things I want to do. Because I'm supposed to see the doctor every six months, and it's been a little longer than six months. Uh, Four-year-old boy recovering from a mountain lion attack. Uh, okay. One of the... A Coriodorus catfish. I bought five what, about two weeks ago at Petco. Fish are guaranteed, by the way, for a month. I think it is. But I mean, I gave it a a uh, burial at sea. I'm not taking it back in a little plastic bag to show it to them. You have to take it back. If your fish die within 30 days, take them back in a bag so they can see them. I'm not doing that. Anyway, it died. When I got them, I got five of them, and it was the one that looked a little bit different. Same size, same type of corridors, but its coloration and everything, and it didn't look. And when I got it here and I floated the bag and all that kind of stuff, it didn't look well. And then when all the fish went in there, they started corridor started swimming around it didn't it just kind of laid around on the bottom or moved around a little bit and so I think there was something wrong with it and uh, it eventually after a few days and it started going around a little bit and eating and uh, doing stuff so I thought maybe it would uh, but anyway it died so uh, now I have four corridors catfish uh, I um, went to Aquarium Co-op the other day and they had a sale on buy three Amazon sword plant or buy three sword plants and get one free. So I really shouldn't, I've already spent too much money, but I placed an order for the swords from the sword plants. And I threw in a uh, few other plants and a few other items. So uh, the order should be here tomorrow from Washington State. This is one of the plants I will be getting. Um, this is one of the swords I will be getting. I'm not sure if I'll leave them in the plant, whatever the instructions are. I'm not sure if I'll leave them in the uh, little pot for a while. Whatever the instructions are on them, I will do. I'll be, I'm getting these, too, because I'm worried that the uh, two placostomus that I have, and even the corridors fish, I'm, I've, you know, I've been feeding them, but there's not very many fish in there. There's four snails. So I'm getting some of this, these... Uh, algae wafers. By the way, the uh, aquarium co-op guy makes a bunch of videos and other people do. And uh, I've seen videos where they put in a piece of cucumber and the fish just going crazy for it. I uh, got a cucumber yesterday and put a little piece in there and Took all the they start fish started becoming active. They could I think really tell there was something in there, but uh, finally a placostomus who was making the rounds of everything, all the plants. He finally got over there and got on it, and he was there a little bit, and then he left and he didn't come back. So I I took it out. So when I get a chance to watch the uh, YouTube videos, I'll see if maybe it's a a certain species of Procostuma? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. But I've got some of these wafers coming for the... Uh, I'm sure that this they will go for, for sure, big time. I'm getting uh, one of these filters, and this is a sponge filter. 
that goes on the end tank end to intake of the uh, filter I have on the back of the uh, aquarium and I want to make sure that in case I get any small fish fries or whatever that they won't be sucked into the filter so that will take care of that filter there uh, and it will provide a medium also for you know as a filter and I've got water sprite coming and I've already got uh, some water sprite here someplace in the tank I think it's the one right in the front behind the little Val grass um, when I place the water, the, the guy has a really nice, Aquarium Co-op has, a, I'll put a link. Uh, he has a really nice site because it tells you, you can see down at the bottom when somebody buys something. It doesn't tell you who they are, but it'll say, you know, uh, someone just, uh, someone from uh, Kansas City just bought such and such. Uh, and also it keeps track, so it, like when I was ordering, I think it was a sword plant though it said uh, as I filled in the uh, order and it went to the cart uh, thing pops up and says uh, you know we're, well before that it popped up you know low on such and such then it popped up uh, you know there's only one available of such and such we're holding it on this your account here for 30 minutes or something like that and whatever so so anyway, I got some more water sprite coming. I always liked water sprite. Um, got this coming. The you know, uh, because the cosmos, they really like you know. One hides behind a little tiny plant on the glass in the back a lot, and the other one will get underneath a plant. You know, there's not. They want to be. They want to have their little cave. They want to have a little way to get away. And they would, if they were big enough, they would, you know, couldn't breathe inside there too. Uh, of course, they're an egg layer. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. If that doesn't, I'll get a, I'll pick up some type of a cave looking one. I want to get uh, some wood in there and some rock. But like I said, I've spent too much money. I've got this coming. It says uh, Chaloa wood is great for shrimp and pecos to feed on. It is a great source of wood for your uh, plecos, the cosmos, and great at making bacteria for shrimp to eat, as well as offering shelter from any other fish. Um, I'd like to get some shrimp. Man, they have some colorful shrimp. And I, I see a place where you can order shrimp and some other fish where they'll send them to you through the mail. But I'll have to wait on that. But I definitely want some of those colorful shrimp. This uh, aquarium co-op, he doesn't sell any fish. You know, he <laughs> ship you any fish. Sells supplies and uh, plants. Uh, but no fish, you know. I'm getting this dwarf chain sword. And that is it. <clears throat> okay, I need to soak my foot. I need to take a shower and then get ready to go to the doctor's office. So, anyway, my plant order will be here for my order. There's some items in it other than plants. We'll be here tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching.